Hello everyone and welcome back to the Burgundians campaign in Altera Total War. My name is Ben Pope. Last time we left off kind of just doing administrative things. We built some buildings and uh, had the Huns show up on, on my land for no reason, but then they went away. Our um, gem store, I was going to say, uh, but it's the, the town that has gemstones. Uh, it's going okay, they just have some public order issues. Uh, I went into the Steam Workshop and looked at some mods. Um, and there was a mod that sort of balances out public order. So the more pissed off people are, there's a, there's a bonus that, you know, um, whatever nice thing you do for them will... Um, sort of improve. Uh, I don't know if it shows up as events or what, but uh, anyway, so uh, I'm, I just turned around to see if, if I see a, a difference there. And uh, we shall see in a couple of turns, I guess. Um, what else? We could spend some money. Um, if I spend this money, I'm not gaining anything other than sanitation. Which I have three sanitation, um, which will be good. I can uh, I can improve that, or I could do something in the uh, like the trade to uh, get better wealth from commerce, or um, even the fishing yetis get us more food out here. So I'll I'll think about this for a second. I think I have a trade in Gotiskanza, unless I forgot to change it. Yeah, I forgot to change it. <laughs> All right. So I was gonna put the trade there and have uh, Rugian be the um, f fishing yetis, I believe. But we're doing okay on food, so I might I might switch this out. Um, to the trade, it's not going to cost much. It's going to cost some public order and stuff problems, but I think we're okay here. Uh, let's see. I have one scholar to spare. It's going to mess it up a little bit. Um, which should be okay once this finishes. So, I'm going to go ahead and, and spend this money because... Uh, it will get us more money from trade. So yeah. Okay. We need more cash. We have our uh, expedition force mm. out here. My mouse keeps doing that. It gets stuck for a second and it beeps. And I don't know how to fix it. I don't know if it's my mouse or if it's the USB ports. I try different ports and it does the same thing. Anyway. So um... There is a desolate land out here. It looks like it's a port. But it's not. Because the land's over here. Okay. So, never mind. <laughs> uh, I don't want to attack the picks anywhere. And they have a lot of land out here. I was going to grab a port city. Um, so, looking at my map. Let's see. The picks are not friendly. Uh, because they don't like me for some reason. I guess... I'm friends with the Saxons and the Utes and the Franks, and they don't like those guys. Um, though the Franks seem to like the Picts, so I... What is it? Oh, because they're doing a lot of stuff against the Roman Empire. Um, so if I was to fight against the Romans, which is one option. Let's zoom out this way. I can go and attack the Romans here. See that? That's what the Romans are. Um, in Galicia. Or I could take some desolate land here. Uh, if I take the desolate land here, I'd have a better... Well, I don't know if it's better. Um, so I think I'm gonna... Uh, I think I'm just gonna go fight the Romans over here. If we look at the land, as soon as the mouse do it. Okay, so I can't 
do the drag anymore. Um, so I could attack Brigantium and give me a port city or take out Bracera. Um, I'm guessing it will be an easier fight here, more of a surprise to take out this town and then whatever they toss at me I can defend against and then ta go take the city and this I want because it's got gold. So that's the plan for my small exhibition force. I hope it gets there this this episode. Uh, so I rambled on for a bit to kind of introduce stuff but hey what can you do? Every episode you kind of have to do that or else um, I feel like some people might not know what's going on. I could skip that part if you guys think it's unnecessary. I could just go into the action. Um, so let me know in the comments. It would help me out if you if you think uh, that you possibly watch every episode and um, you know don't need to be reminded of, reminded of what happened a couple of days ago. Um, of course, if there's a few comments like that then I know that it's worth me skipping that part and because I kind of familiarize myself with what's you know even if I haven't played for a couple of days and I get back into it I look at the campaign and kind of see what's going on and um, decide what to do all right let's go ahead and uh, select these guys okay they're gonna move just a little bit I can't go into they're already in double time and just double as they're gonna go because they're carrying the force the screams of the wind uh, so we're gonna double click here All right, so this is gonna take three more turns. That's gonna be over and done with in one turn. I can uh, build this uh, Do I have curling shack here's the pastures get us horsemen this would get us Burgundian Axemen, which are nice. A lot of squalor and public order problems from upgrading these. So we have to wait a little bit, unfortunately. Let's do something in Duna. See, Duna now has a minus one uh, versus the minus four before the oh. turn ended. I think it's because something happened. The events went up. See, it's like it's it's called reasonable populace the mod. So I'm I'm guessing people are just you know they're mad they're mad and they're being reasonable because they're like hey you know it's it's not that bad and we're we're okay with how happy it is. This makes it so your cities can't be super pissed off and they can't also be super um, happy uh, really quick. So it takes a little bit. It will still progress to that, but it, it just they're more reasonable about it. Okay, so the well. Uh, we have three sanitation. I was gonna use it up. Was I not? I could do that. I'll Since I'm not gonna colonize, I don't need the money right up front. So let's go ahead and spend. That's that spent a lot of our cash. Technologies. I could have. Hit that button there. Oh, I was I was gonna wait. Hmm. Wait, I already did this. This is ten thousand. Never mind. I thought I was looking at the ones that I got. Okay, so what can we do? We have Mr. Unique Recruitment Equipment and Infantry Equipment Experience. Uh and unlocks the elite scatter shot slingers, which are nice. Um this we have uh, recruitment capacity and cost for ranged and cav units, which is nice. But I think I should get I should get this finished, and now I'll increase my sanitation plus two to all regions. Um, you get if you guys don't pay attention to this here, uh, you're missing out because some people don't know they just go like on one you know one wing and get fine. You get you know the upkeep cost. Um, and stuff for units over here or, or wherever you want, you know. But then you're missing out on the little bonuses like moving range. That one's not so great, but recruitment cost. So yeah, these are these are even better because public order, 
sanitation, uh, well from, oh wait, yeah, well from sustenance, all regions. Yeah, so again, I'm blabbing, but I'm hoping that you guys learned something <laughs> while you watch my videos, not just sort of, okay, what's, what's gonna die next? And hopefully nothing too important dies next. Um, of some other faction, you know, they can kill over and die um, over and over if that is possible. But um, our own guys, we like, and we hope to keep them. So, um, if you watched the last episode, you saw the Huns are settled in Italia somewhere. Quite interesting. They um, are normally not wired to settle down. They just raid everything and burn everything. They could still do that, but now they have to defend their own land um, and not just have all their armies um, create desolate land all over Europe. As they're doing in my other campaign. Drunk on watch. Subject Ariolad. Ariold. Ariold. This man was drunk when he was supposed to be on watch. Hey, don't do that on the watch, man. Not for the watch. Okay, the <laughs> the watering the watering down of the elite troops with these pumpkins seems to be the main cause. Engage faction politics to deal with subject. Well, he somebody just had let. <sighs> Every ten men draw straws. He who draws the shortest shall be killed by his fellows. That's terrible. Um, we need to keep the men on side. Let us ab admonish him, but nothing more. I don't know what admonish means. Um, if we flog him... That's pretty rough, isn't it? We're gonna do it anyway. That's better than the decimation. I mean, he was just drunk. <sighs> Should have picked the, the sort of ignore the issue part. Right, where's my army? What's going on here? Picks and Caledonians. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um. I just don't know if I can reach there quick enough. So it's going to be a couple of turns, really. Um, I'll have to land, then I most likely won't be able to attack. So, we'll see. I'm, I'm going to get, you know... Uh, they're gonna see me coming, so I can't really do much about it. All right, let's go clicking back up here. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do anything else. I could get more units in these armies. Let's see how Duna is doing. Still minus one. And if I was to upgrade these, it'd be from 214 to 273. It'd be a nice upgrade, but. I don't really see the point. I'd rather have another unit. Oh, I forgot. Oh, darn it. I forgot to turn off the champion mod. And ignore that. Um, I'll have to play the next... Um, let's get one German experiment. I'll have to remove that for the next episode. Yeah, so uh, there is a mod which uh, allows you to create one single champion as a fighting unit. So it would be um, he's, he's strong, he's um, got a lot more health and everything. Um, I don't think it's a problem with me having it on, hopefully. Uh, I can just turn it off and everything will be fine. The AI will most likely recruit that unit while I'm recording this and um, when I turn off the mod uh, it should go away it shouldn't stay uh, 
And if I do meet one on on the battlefield, then I'll be screwed, <laughs> because it'll take. Um, I think he can. A uh, test have been done. He can kill about a hundred men by himself before he gets killed. So, uh, so Duna is. The man apologizes for his actions and accepts his punishment. The unit's morale rises as a result. So we have high spirits. Um, the troops are riding a wave of high spirits. Okay, so it wasn't like high spirits for the town. It was for the dude and the armies. Okay, um, are you gonna... I'm gonna build, can build the town to get more public order. What's my sanitation now? I have four left over. Trade utes. Uh, I could upgrade that. Road development from 450. Wealth from commerce and maritime commerce. It's gonna go to 750. <sighs> That's so tempting. Okay, let's um. Gosh, I think I should upgrade the town to the capital. I was like, what is this place? This is the capital city. Um. If I upgrade that, we'll get us public order and growth, which we need. And I'll have to worry about other stuff later. This I need to make the warriors hold. Um. Oh, jeez. Okay. Right, so let's spend the money and get this. That's our capital. And we go back out here. Let's see if we can see what they have. Drop anchor. They have there's a Pix. Um Fleet ready. What can I do this? Leaving the ship. Uh, I guess that works. For the try. Uh next time I can get out of double time Fleet and ready. Yeah. Um uh, Sure. Steady as, we Steady as you. Um, you are a general. Somewhere on the high seas. Over here, actually. No. You're the one in Duna. Uh, so you will get middle defense. And uh, you have a cav unit there. Let's get you more ammo. I can always use more ammo. It switched my view. Okay, that's why I was seeing the general. Cool. Right. Let's see. There's my neighbors all scrolling through their turns. The Sassanids, the pesky Sassanids. They're doing something. The Huns are uh, probably looting some towns. Uh, eventually they'll finish and we'll go to the Romans. Uh, the Eastern Romans are repairing the towns that the Huns just looted. And the Western Romans are building bigger walls to hopefully keep the Huns away. Um, yeah, and a few of the other tribes are trying to survive. That's life here in the Middle Ages. It's slightly before the Middle Ages. It's the very early Middle Ages. Alright, the Bloodless Ram. A ram hung in sacred offering to the gods is completely bloodless. Not a single drop can be squeezed from the creature. We must do something to appease the gods. What? Okay, so I guess they hung a uh, ram and um, offered it to the gods, but it doesn't have any blood. Uh, somehow that thing lived and... Um, okay, we must give this unnatural creature to the flames. Uh, yeah, I guess we just we'll just kill more rams. 
Okay. Um, has this finished building? Well, we haven't started that. We've started this one. Okay. Do I make the military yet? Is it doesn't create any. No. Will it create me some income? doesn't create any income, it just creates squalor. Oh, that's piss. I was hoping for some income, like, you know, industrial. You are making boats, after all, you can be making boats for your regular citizens. Um, we have plenty of space here, but let's keep the money, we're gonna need the money to oh you bastards <laughs> I swear the, co the computer always does this like screw you guys So mad, they always get the town that you want to get. Fine, we're gonna go for Bracara, huh? And hopefully they'll just sort of raid Brigantium and not settle there, because I want the freaking land for myself, right? Gunther, where are you at? Governor? Uh, you should have, oh, you have this um, capacity, okay, you have that, authority. Uh, you have plenty of cunning, I guess we can give you more food. And public order from there would be nice, so we're gonna go down this line. Capish? Right, let's um, be over here and see what happens while we end the turn. <sighs> Picks. Have they gone? What are they doing? Why are they see? Why are they sieging there with a tiny army? Wow. Uh, it's probably random, you know, it's probably not coded in um, for, for the PC to just do that. But it seems like almost every time I try to go take a town, um, there's another army of some kind there right as I am or before me by a little bit and you know they have three units in that army and they're over there they shouldn't even take an opposition so public order up to minus 10 bonus from all presence of pagan paganism uh, so I five rams are chosen as offering to the gods but after hanging three are also found bloodless uh, the people Mother of dark omens, unhappy, spreads like a disease. Unhappiness. Unhappiness indeed, because I have... Well, at least we got gem cutter. I'm unhappy for multiple reasons. Uh, I won't be able to siege this, because this tiny unit... I guess they're not three, but... Oh my goodness. What's your... Granted, the uh, garrisons should be a little bit bigger. I was thinking of picking up a mod that lets you have bigger garrisons. Um, but, you know, that's not happening. We're gonna do... Um, we're gonna raid. It gets us some of the food, but nothing else. Some money from there. All right, the unhappiness continues. Let's look at our town. That's still being built. Do not. Where are you? There we are. Minus nine.
I think uh, I think I'm gonna have to do it. I think I'm gonna have to. Think, 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 think. I think I'm gonna have to do the town. For public order, because this is not happening. Right, back to the area of Brakara and I. Hopefully, the pigs will just leave. I should have gone to look at the other town. The other. It would be weird if, if the Romans just let the pigs take that town with the amount of forces that they're um, they're attacking with. It would be really weird. And I want that town! Looks like a cash cow, right? It's got the big gold bar. Come on. Come on! Turns, people take your turns faster. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Sweet. Um, okay, so you. Uh, let's not have you raid anymore. Let's go over here. So you can peek. Uh, let's do picks, picks galore. But you're not attacking it. Okay, so. We're gonna take that town. Uh, yeah, we're gonna declare war with the Western Romans, but let's do it properly. Let's be like, oh my gosh, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm, okay, I'm gonna stop that. Alright, Mr. Western Roman. Speak your terms. I demand words, we declare war. Other business calls this day. Um, unless... Yeah, that's it. Uh, so I'm gonna have to fight some other nations. You have destroyed yourself today. You have uh -huh. children and despoiled your women. That's By God. plenty of talk from you, sir. Let them cower before us. And of course, uh, this was just recently raided, so we will auto resolve and do protective because we have some scattershot herders that will just take everybody out. The pigs should leave and um oh, the pigs helped the heck weird the pigs should leave we want to occupy um as Is there else? as there was no other choice For the tribe. right so this uh navy went up we're gonna give them whole strength and recruitment cost and yeah double up on that the screams of the wind have also leveled up, including the general. And let's see, morale and defending that might be useful out here. And we have I could do authority and get some uh, fatigue out of the way, and we can increase attack for. I guess it's attack and movement and defense for cav let's do the infantry, we have more infantry infantry commander okay so uh, we need to oh well we have to repair this it's gonna cost us a thousand five hundred fields for the food this is waterworks 200 repair. Let's repair that. We can't really convert it on until we. Well, I say that, but here. No, yeah, we have to repair first. Uh, we will also repair this, and we should also just repair this. We won't be able to convert the town because that's expensive. It'll take a while. Um, I'm hoping that the picks don't take Brakara so I can take it next. So, yeah, uh, if no other events have, so, okay, so we're declared, uh, a 
Okay, so I forgot about this. Integrity and the Gorilla of Warfare. Right. I could do growth. So let's reset and do growth and wealth from agricultural. And you are probably the one that has received some kind of thing. Embezzlement. Hmm. That's not what it was. This is what it was. This is morale on reinforcing. This is commander's unit armor. Uh, I think that's fine. I think we'll just leave that. Okay. Uh, governor, of course. Has everybody got something to do? You're an admiral. You're an admiral. You're a general. You're a governor. Uh, do I have any... Taskmaster. Taskmaster. Um, and Lothar is a... Another Taskmaster. Integrity. A fighter. Hmm. Lothar, I think. Thirty-seven, thirty. Let's just go with Lothar. It'll be fine. And this also needs a what is this called again? Edict. All right. So, religious influence, army recruitment, public order, research, research for military, and construction and growth. Hmm. Uh, we're gonna do that because that's gonna in sort of help, I think. Is it influence? Yeah. Okay, so let's um do one more turn, and this should be the third time. Oh, they're gonna go there, huh? Bloody unfair! Don't take that city, please. Don't take that city. Please don't take it. Um, so that siege should be over because they've been sieging for three turns and then they can actually attack. Um, that's sort of the, the three turns margin, which is nice to have that margin. People can't just, you know, lose a city on the first turn when somebody comes up. If it's a wild city, if it's a open city like the one I just took now, the Brie. Guntium, then it doesn't matter. You can just take it over. But if it's a walled city, you have to wait three turns before you can actually attack. Which is nice. You won't lose your capital cities too fast. Uh, so it's the third time, the third turn they're there, and they should be over. Um, our Imperium level is intimidating. We can have more armies, spies, priests, fleets, governors, and champions. I did... I did download a mod that says unlimited governors, so you can actually have a governor in each province you take. Otherwise, you would... Um, what's going on here? Uh, an unscrupulous rival has spread foul rumors about a family member. Give the order and it will be silenced. Um, yeah, it, we're just gonna pay him off. Uh, I'm losing 15 influence. But I have plenty. Gee, Gunter has a lot more. Alright. Is it not over yet? What? Get get the kitten! Get out of here! I'm still unhappy. Okay. Fleet. Report in. Uh, this place needs... To be converted. We're getting probably... Better sanitation public order from here. So let's no. I guess we had two balls. That wasn't expensive to fix. So you have to take that down. Uh this is a Yeti. And it could be I'll have to think about it if I want trade or fishing or military. And this I can't convert right now, so. Alright. Um I'm gonna have to 
Sacred King. What's this? Oh, I finished that. Okay. Edict issued. I'm gonna have to end the episode here, and I really, really, really hope that the picks don't take Rakara because that would totally um, make me unhappy. Uh, so let's get. Hmm, I want both of these like instantly and can't have it. So, um, I will go with recruitment cost. Eh. It's only affecting, and yeah, this is better. Anyway. Alright, you guys, um, that was all that happened today. We took Brigantium, and it was all about unhappiness. Um, because of the picks being around. So, um, hopefully you enjoyed it. I had fun. Uh, our other land is doing okay. Nothing really happening. We do have to watch for public order here now. Um, overall, I'm losing public order. So, it's minus 8. Jeez. Religion minus 6. So, next thing we get will have to be a religious building. And they might as well go in the capital uh, of the place. And this needs, this also needs to be the warrior's hold. So we have our um, choices. We need, we need to make up some difficult choices here. But I think we should be fine. I think we'll be fine. There we go. We're gonna. Ended with our close up view of Brigantium and the picks sieging on the other side. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do hit the like button, comment, and do subscribe if you like this sort of content and you're not already a subscribed member to my channel. Um, hopefully, I will see you soon enough. Do take care of yourself and have a nice day. Bye bye.